How's it going everyone? Landon with LMR.com. Today I'll be checking out these 2018 style headlights designed for the 2010 to 2012 Mustangs. This headlight kit is going to reference popular styling cues from the 2018 Mustang and incorporate those into a headlight intended for the first generation S197 cars. The housings are gloss black with a chrome shroud around the projector lens that closely replicates the ones found in the 2018 headlight. Now being that each headlight uses a projector lens, the light output will be nice and clean and it won't blind oncoming traffic. Continuing further with the 2018 styling, you'll see three integrated LED DRLs or daytime running lights that emit a cool blue or 6000 Kelvin color temperature. Now possibly my favorite feature for these particular headlights is the sequential amber turn signal. These of course activate whenever you hit the blinker, emergency flashers, or lock and unlock from the key fob when you wire these things to the park lights. These 2018 style headlights will work with the 2010 to 2012 S197 Mustangs that did not come equipped with factory HIDs. Installed into each headlight is an H7 halogen bulb, which can easily be upgraded to an LED bulb if you so choose. If you take this route, simply remove the bulb access door and then disconnect the electrical connection, remove the hold down clamps, and then swap out the bulbs. On the back of each light is an adjustment screw for the projector lens, which allows for easy adjustments up and down. So because of the added features of this headlight, there is going to be a little bit of wiring involved, but it's very easy to do, and I'm going to show you how it's done later on in the video. Removing and installing a set of headlights into an S197 car does require removal of the front bumper. For this video, I'll be starting with the front bumper removed from the car, so be sure and check out our front bumper removal video on how to properly remove yours. With the bumper removed from the car, remove either the passenger or driver's side headlight. Loosen and remove the 10 millimeter upper headlight retaining bolt. If you notice on this particular car, the mounting tab was broken. Underneath the headlight, loosen and remove the two remaining 10 millimeter bolts while supporting the headlight with your free hand. Bring the headlight forward and disconnect the turn signal and headlight electrical connections. Repeat these steps for the other headlight. Remove the tape from the opening on the new headlight. Using a small pick or your finger, expose the turn signal electrical connection. Remove the turn signal socket from the factory headlight and remove the bulb. Connect the pigtail from the new headlight to the factory turn signal socket. Because of polarity, you may have to rotate this connection whenever you install the headlight back into the car. Secure the turn signal socket into the new headlight. Go ahead and repeat these steps for the other side. Remove the plastic film from both of the new headlights. I chose to install the driver's side first. Before continuing, Turn on the emergency flashers from within the car. Position the headlight into place and connect the electrical connections. At this point, the turn signal will either light up or it won't. If it does, you can continue with what you're doing. If it doesn't, disconnect the electrical connections and remove the turn signal socket. Rotate the pigtail 180 degrees and reinstall. Reconnect the electrical connections and verify that the turn signal powers on. Of course, ensure that both connections are secured and finger tighten the upper 10 millimeter bolt. This will hold the light in place while you verify the other side. At this time, do the same for the other side and then turn off the flashers. Turn on the headlights and ensure that these power on as well. Turn off the lights and reinstall the retaining hardware for both headlights. On the driver's side, bring the loose red wire up to the top. Take the provided wiring harness and route it alongside the main harness running the length of the core support. Connect the wiring harness to the red wire on the driver's side. Do the same for the passenger side red wire. Route the spliced end of the wiring harness towards the passenger side park light. Disconnect the side marker connection and then turn the headlight switch to the park light option. Using a multimeter, determine which of the side marker wires receive 12 volts. This is easily done by inserting the red lead from the multimeter into the pigtail while grounding the black lead to a good ground. Check both wires. Once you figure out the wire, make note of the color and stripe and then power off the headlight switch. Remove any convoluted tubing. Route this wire alongside the existing convoluted tubing and then cut to length. Cut back a little bit of the protective sheath. Using the provided quick splice connector, install it over the wire that you confirmed was 12 volts and then position the red wire into the connector. Crimp the blade to splice both of the wires and then close the lid. Reinstall any convoluted tubing and cut it to length. Wrap any additional wiring with electrical tape. Neatly zip tie this wire to the existing harness. Cleanly loop the remaining harness together at the center of the core support 
and zip tie it. Use this time to zip tie and dial in any additional wiring. Before reinstalling the front bumper, verify that all of the functions on the new headlights work as they should. Then you can reinstall the front bumper and its associated components. Refer to your owner's manual on how to properly aim the headlights. Because these 2018 style headlights feature a projector lens, all you'll need to do is adjust them up or down. After that, you're good to go. All right, I'm typically one that really isn't a fan of aftermarket headlights. However, these 2018 style headlights look amazing on this 2012 GT. I think the styling cues blend well with the car and overall these were a solid upgrade for this Mustang. Not to mention these cars have already started to fall victim to aging components as the factory headlights that were removed from the car already showed signs of oxidation and discoloration. The only thing I would personally change would be the halogen bulb and probably go with a nice LED that matches the daytime running lights. Now for the most current pricing, product information, and availability on these 2018 style headlights, be sure and check out LMR.com. To see more how-to and review videos covering industry-leading products, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video, and don't forget to turn on those notifications. While you're at it, check out our other videos, and of course, for all things 1979 to present Mustang and SVT Lightning, keep it right here with the real enthusiasts, LMR.com.